well, it's been great to have everyone back here and uh, all of the school visits coming in to see uh, their, their fellow pupils who are uh, demonstrating their projects today and all the VIPs coming in. Yeah, the judging is, uh, I think most pupils now are on their second, even probably in their third time and uh, having observed some of it now, you can see the students growing in confidence, just like we predict and just like happens every year. coding, who are just teaching me things about my own work, which was yeah. a bit humbling really. <laughs> really, it is just incredible to see how engaged they are and how excited they are. And just, I really hope that this kind of helps inspire young people into science. I'm doing a PhD in infectious disease modelling at the moment, which became very topical during COVID and all of a sudden it was all about science communication. And there is no better lesson that you learn about science communication than coming and presenting a project here. So I think if any student decides to pursue science after this exhibition, they'll actually be surprised to realise how much they learned from this experience that actually directly applies to a proper, like, full-on career in science. This is one of my favourite events of the year, to be honest, because you leave optimistic about the future. You know, having the having the guts and the character and the confidence to be able to promote a new idea, uh, to find a way of making it work, uh, to, to sell it then to your peers and to other judges. Um, you know, that is that is the basis of an entrepreneur of entrepreneurship. I think BT Young Scientists is such a breeding ground for that kind of approach to. Uh, to entrepreneurship and risk-taking and, and enterprise, uh, which is why it's so valuable.